Jacquise. I just peeped that uh, this is everybody else's song, but it's just him singing. So I, okay. I, <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Jason. That's for somebody. Uh, moving forward. Welcome to <laughs> Divine Feminine. I don't know who this is. Okay, maybe it's Jacquees. I don't know. All right. Uh, anyway, Divine Feminine. It's all about you. Tupac. That's all. Uh, also relevant. Yeah. Um. Oh, somebody's coming into your life. They kind of give you pause or whatever. Here, let me get to the introductions, all right? Welcome to One Message in a Bottle Tarot. My name is Wanda. I am your spiritual advisor. Hello and welcome back to all my beautiful messengers all around the world and your respective places. I appreciate and I love you so very much for every single thing that you do. Number one, being a subscriber, liking my videos, sharing my content, connecting with me in the comments because I love to hear from you. And all the how you keep the channel growing and things moving forward thank you thank you thank you if you're new here you're more than welcome to stay and join the gang because we definitely love to have you here gang gang so tap in and subscribe and also hit the like button for me all right show the kids some love speaking of love if you want to tip the bartender at any time in this reading cash app or paypal that information is below also on how to book a personal gang let's go You're all I need. This uh, energy divine feminine has been sitting here for a good while. It's so much on the board, bitch, but we finally here. You know, I had to see if it was going to be consistent or, or what it is because I feel like divine feminine, the first thing you know is regardless of who your person is or what you have now in the future, everybody just needs to be about it. You know, I'm from the show me state. You got to show me if you ain't showing and I ain't seeing nothing, then no. Whatever you're talking about, yapping, like, it's relevant, okay? I'm also hearing put up or shut up. So whoever this person is, it says, Divine Feminine, just so you know, you have the kind of love. You got the kind of love that make a man stand tall. Period, bitch. Period. You got the kind of love that makes a man stand tall, Okay. Somebody will realize that about you or somebody's feeling that about you. Like, a uh, bitch, I don't give a fuck if I was. Like, stand up. <laughs> Back straight. Whatever the fuck uh, she has said. Okay? Like that. And they cool with it. And they are right with it. I feel like they know that you mean them well and you only want the best. I don't know. Somebody just respects uh, who you are and your feminine femininity. What you bring, the energy you bring to the relationship and the part that kind of... You know, do what a wife should or a feminine do and get their, you know, help them get their shit together. You tell them the truth, uh, whatever. But, yeah, it's like, I, I want to change. I want to do better. I want to be better. Like, a divine feminine, your love inspires somebody to do that. So, kudos to you, bitch. You know, I feel like somebody wants to, yeah, who could have thought it would be you? Like, I know somebody is just fucking befuddled, bamboozled, bewildered, <laughs> all of that. It's a lot of bees up in here. But, uh, yeah, they maybe you were the last person on earth they thought they'd fall for, have feelings for, or whatever. But it's just like, nah, it's you. Like, I don't, I feel like it don't even matter who in front of them. Like, they just be uh, something about you leaves them stuck. Not only wanting more, but wanting to do better, wanting to be better, uh, be a better man, or, or whatever. Okay. Yeah, you soothe them. You're soothing to them. Um, definitely thirsty for you. They're going to be about you. Okay? Like, yeah, you're like a sip of water. Like something like uh, cool in nature. I don't know if you wear blues or they like blues or something like that. But let's see what this is. Okay? Let's talk about it. Divine Feminine. All right? What I want to say to you. You got the kind of love that make a man stand tall. What they want. <laughs> they even like that too. I feel like they like your sassy attitude. You just be like, just whatever. I don't feel like you're disrespectful or anything like that. But they know you're uh, very no-nonsense. Um, 
Oh, it's giving old girl from sis. I can't think of a name right now. But yeah, my girl. All right. Uh, like just straight up with. Okay. They find it uh, impossible to let you go for pinnacles here. They like to lace you. Or they do. Or they will. All right. Buying you lots of jewels. Lots of jewelry. A, qu uh, a crown. Somebody might have an accent. Two of swords. Yeah, they know you ain't made your mind up about them. Or I feel like when they approach you, you might need to. you be like, uh, let me sit with it for a minute. I don't think you make an immediate decision here. I feel like Divine Feminine, you're more focused on yourself. Focus on your studies. Focus on grounding. Focus on uh, following your intuition. All right. I feel like you make this person work for it. Even all the stuff they're giving in the background. And it's uh, that's not even what's important to you. So it's like, well, how do I get to this person? How do I get them to uh, focus on me? The jury's still out on this person, I feel. But I don't feel like you feel rushed or anything or will uh, about making this decision. Uh, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, a bit. Hey, man, like, bitch, I don't, like, yeah, you're not fucking around with this person, okay? Y'all two of a kind, y'all are twin flames, I do believe that, all right? With the two of us, look like Siamese cats down here. You ain't trying to, yeah, and you still mad about it, Divine Feminine, whatever it is. Uh, you definitely still fucking mad about it, even though you on your studies and all that. I'm just looking at the face and the energy, like, bitch, I don't want to hear shit until uh you put up or shut up or show improve you know i ain't gonna turn around to this what i'm looking for like somebody is not playing around with you uh or, or you're not playing around with somebody and they this you're divine masculine and they like that uh about you all right somebody's surprised that you done turned down some money or dates i don't know what you're offering you sister whatever uh, to get you to stick around, but that's not what you're looking for. So they know they gotta put up or shut up, and it's like, damn, she really don't care. Like maybe all the other bitches like the money or like you know whatever they could be bought or whatever, and that helps them uh be associated with this masculine or keep up with him. But I don't feel like you care about like I don't give a fuck about none of that shit uh, here. Basically, it ain't even about the income. I mean, you sitting pretty yourself here, you know, like it ain't even about the money. Like I don't need like none of that. Somebody mad because somebody acting up and they ain't with it. They like nah, okay. There ain't and there is no confusion. There's nothing to talk about. Maybe on your part, but not on my part here. Um, yes, somebody likes the fact that you also uh, have independence and that you focus uh, on yourself. All right. Any bags or gifts or anything like that they give or they offer is is just to get some kind of some anything but i feel like they know that you know you're looking for something uh specific okay and this person again you have the kind of love that makes a man want to stand up stand up and be a real man what is that all right only you and your person knows okay but they want to do it though i mean they do Somebody's disappointed uh, here. I, I don't know who this person is. Maybe you separated with them recently or you cut somebody off, but it's just like you ain't taking their calls. You don't want to hear from them uh, here. They feel like they missed out on a major uh, opportunity. And it's just like, what can I get for you? Somebody is mad that you won't even look at them like turn. Around. <laughs> I don't know. Like now they want to act right. Now they want to do right. Here, that's why they're coming in with this energy, divine feminine. You got the kind of love that'll make a man stand tall. You know what I mean? And they they notice, and it's like, okay, well, she did serious. Okay, well, let me get like you ain't fucking with somebody to look like what the fuck it uh needs to be looking like. And until then, it's just like, bitch, I got shit to do. And they like somebody's trembling, and you're still in this, but somebody is panicking because nothing that they. You're rejecting uh, all kind of forms of this uh, communication. So it was like, damn, I'm going to really have to fuck up here. Six of cups. <laughs> like, I don't care. They looking in the past like, or should be a real man going to do it? Where did I fuck up? Where did I miss that? What did I? Okay, let me correct that. Like somebody looks like with this lover's card and this six of cups 
uh, is going to put in work, but they never thought that you were serious. Like you said what you said and you meant that shit. And like, yeah, I'm going to stand on it. You stood on some shit. And the fact that you're standing on somebody, standing on your 10 toes, makes somebody really um, put up or shut up here. Basically, <laughs> basically, I heard what you said, but I don't see it. I know what it looked like. Uh, here, but they're definitely determined to get you to win, uh, to win you, to be, to marry you, uh, all of that. But they know you ain't uh, doing none of it. You ain't signed up for nothing until it's looking like what it's supposed to, uh, with their behavior. And it's just like, uh, cool. Uh, it ain't really. I don't even feel like it's not. You're like, uh, it's really your decision. This is like, you know, you're not acting right, divine masculine or whatever the hell he doing. Yeah. <laughs> The seven swords, a uh, chariot energy. Like I feel like uh, this person knows why uh, things are at a, stand a standstill here between uh, both of you, and it is because of some de deception, manipulation, and all of this shit, right? And it's like I don't want to hear your excuses. I don't want to hear uh, none of that until it's uh, really looking like there are people. Uh, hell, divine feminine, somebody from the past may even spin the block, okay? Um, and pull up like, okay, I get it now. I, I get it now. I'm going to walk it like I talk it here. Um, I feel like it all came down to the uh, to how somebody was moving, and they know they need to move differently if things are going to move forward with you. It's like you're not dealing with their bullshit. You're not dealing with the lies. You're not dealing with the sneakiness. You're not dealing with the, you know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't want to hear shit from you until you clean up your fucking mess. You clean up your fucking mess, then bitch, then we can talk. Then I'll know you're serious. Until then, like, fuck you. Like, you're not trying to hear it. And plus, there are other fears. It's, it's, it's other people coming. And somebody is mad that you have other options. Somebody is definitely afraid, this masculine or this other person, that you'll run off into the sunset uh, with somebody else. Therefore, they hate and therefore, you know, they might be doing little petty shit or whatever. Ever. And it's just like, uh, that's even worse on top of it. Because why are you acting out? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The hood community be like, well, why are you acting feminine as a masculine? Why are you doing all this uh, sneaky and hating and gossiping and, and all that when the whole um, thing is about you not wanting to do right and move right in this relationship? Of course, I'm going to move the fuck on and say divine feminine, okay? So I feel like some of you have some men in your life that are just really acting out here. But uh, on the good foot, there is somebody, again, you have the kind of love that makes a man stand tall. That really is getting their shit. They're going to put their shit, um, be putting in work to get their shit together to be with you. Like you have that type of love that makes them want to uh, straighten up. And also the possibility of someone else marrying you running off with you here with this justice card this a like somebody they want to lock it down here um and this ace of cups here you running off marrying somebody else is their worst nightmare so they're like oh shit and then the fact that you're not talking to them you may have blocked some of them like some of them you got this you set a motherfucker on ice okay and it's just like okay 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 <laughs> okay okay you know, the thought of losing you, like, they're panicking because you're moving like, bitch, I mean what the fuck I said, you know? And if it's not looking like that, I don't want it. And even and even if you don't want to do it, it's another nigga out here who will, okay? So they are panicking, all right? They trying to beat the next nigga there, all right, to wife you or to whatever. But the only thing is, it's a nigga that pulls up immediately and moves accordingly, and you ain't got to teach them how to be a man and all that. And they have no problem loving their queen, uplifting, all that shit. You know, they know they have to do the work to get there. All right. I feel like all their old tricks, they money, whatever, whatever they was doing to keep it going before. Y'all want none of that shit now. Like, I'm not trying to hear none of that shit. Either you pull up or shut up. All right. Either you be a man or you don't. If you don't want to, somebody else will. So they're panicking. And I feel also somebody new is coming from uh, the background here. I just heard an alley-oop. I don't know what the fuck that means. A new love or a past love may do a, a alley-oop. Somebody also elopes. 
Uh, somebody proposed to you, Divine Feminine. You say, yeah, y'all do run off. Okay, it's gonna make a lot of people mad, but shit, you, uh, y'all love each other. It's real cute. Some of you bitches run off and get married. Amen. Send me an invite. I'll be telling y'all, okay? Send me an invite when I be setting y'all up uh, over here. But yes, some of you are uh, going to lock it down and get married. There will be someone moving forward. Yes, an engagement ring, uh, all of that. All right, they don't want to lose you. Like they're freaking out, all right? Um, they may try to surprise you in a way. I don't know. Somebody doesn't like surprises or somebody doesn't like something. So the way they're going to come across about uh, doing this, I don't know. I feel like it's something with the engagement or whatever and you don't uh, take it well or something like that. I don't know who that's for. All right. Um, but yes, they don't want you running off with someone else and, uh, also are scrambling to do what they need to do to make you know that they are serious this time you're you have that type of that's what he's singing in the background he's like your love like shit <laughs> all right but somebody is panicking at the thought um of losing you here what's the romance oracle Whew. some of you guys actually do run away they pull up they pull up like I corrected this. They show you receipts, all of that. And you're impressed by the work that they have done. Somebody uh, may have been putting in work quietly here. Maybe it's somebody you thought would never change or whatever. This person would never change. Girl, they pull up and they got receipts too. And you'd be like, that's what I wanted. And y'all end up married. Y'all run to Vegas. I don't know where y'all Y'all just, uh, okay. Y'all do it and it's done. But heavy on the uh, buying uh, rings, uh, all of that here. Somebody does not, you're mad.